we're pleased to welcome um, Stephen Sircone from Oracle to Interpol World Television. Stephen, what's brought Oracle to Interpol World this year? Well, we came to Interpol World to uh, have collaboration with the, with the global police officials and our partners in technology to find out uh, what, what, what are the true needs out there. We, we know what the needs are. Uh, generally, and we know what the needs are uh, in, in, in many specific cases, but the world of technology and police work is, is ever-changing. It changes every week, and the threats change every week also. So this is a collaboration moment, and it's a great opportunity. Yeah. Now, you've come from a police background. You must have seen changes in the way uh, policing is happening over the years, and, and uh, the United States has got a slightly different approach to policing than the rest of the world. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, police work has changed so much because of technology, because of the advent of, of video. Uh, the video world has exploded around us. Social media uh, has exploded around us. So the communications, is so, everything is so fast now that it enables the criminals to have a, a uh, oftentimes have a leg up on, on, on uh, committing an, the next crime. But, uh, and, and it's really, policing is, is generally the same everywhere. In the United States, it's different in some regard because of the threat levels. Uh, and in the United States, it's, it's, very, uh, it's very different because of the structure of law enforcement in the U.S. In the U.S., we have 60, over 16,000 police agencies versus most other uh, nations in the world have uh, you know, a national police force and a regional police force and uh, some smaller, but in the U.S. there are state police forces, there are county police forces, there are city police forces, and it doesn't matter if it's NYPD in New York City or a small police department, say, in Texas or California, uh, they all have their own agency and their own budgets and their own uh, command. It's very, it's very interesting. They're, they're governed by the same laws uh, nationally and in each state, but uh, there, there are so many uh, agencies. So, so you're used to interagency cooperation. Um, how important do you think that is on a, a global scale? Interagency cooperation is uh, really essential to, to solving uh, so many crimes, uh, cross-border crimes, and that's what Interpol is is all about. It, it's the it's the collaboration of these agencies, uh, different nations coming together and talking to each other. And regionally, that that is exactly it. If if the, the local agencies don't collaborate and talk to each other and communicate, then the criminals will be that that far ahead of those agencies because the agencies aren't talking. One of the uh, one of the lessons, of course, of that is is September 11th. Uh, that changed everything. Everything was changed at that point, uh, especially, of course, in the United States, but globally. Uh, one of the problems, uh, one of the things that enabled that was the uh, the lack of communication beforehand when the terrorists were planning it. So, collaboration is is essential, and that's why Interpol is a uh, is 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 a great organization to bring it all together. Now you mentioned the growth in video and in social media. Um, Oracle, I understand, are doing a lot with social media analysis. Can you can you expand on that for us? Yes, we at Oracle we have a, 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 a partnership of many different uh, uh, solutions, and social media analytics is uh, is a is a tool that can bring us to the view of of where the the the, uh, the criminals or the terrorists are going. Uh, before it happens because we collect the data that they are putting out there for us. Uh, years ago when I started police work, it really was uh, much more difficult because the criminals didn't just leave us all this evidence out there. Now with, with uh, social media analytics, uh, we can find the evidence that has been placed on these social media websites uh, and, 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 and just left there, but we have to go get it. We have to analyze it, have to bring it all together and identify uh, who the suspects are and, uh, and why they're doing what they're doing. Yeah. But you know, have we got the tools in place to keep up with the volume of data that's now coming from all of these different um, inputs? Yeah, that is, a, that is a tremendous challenge for every police agency in the world. Uh, video has, uh, has expanded so that uh, in addition to social media intelligence that we can collect, we can, we can collect video, vast, vast amounts of di uh, video data, which is digital evidence. And the digital evidence can be analyzed uh, to detect anomalies, uh, to detect faces uh, and identify uh, people uh, based on the database you may have, or collecting the, the, the face 
uh, and, and storing it for a short amount of time in case somebody visits a, a certain uh, event or a certain uh, 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 location that is sensitive. If they visit that place twice in one week and maybe three times in one week, that's, that, is a, that is a red flag. Mm -hmm. And so we have the technology that can detect that, that uh, type of activity. You, you, you're developing technology to try and uh, deal with the threats. What threats scare you? Uh, the threats that are out there now, of course, uh, terrorism. Uh, <clears throat> the, the, major, the major crimes uh, will always occur, such as uh, robberies and, and theft and whatnot, and, and financial crime, <clears throat> uh, online financial crime is, is uh, really taken off and exploded. But uh, cybercrime overall is a, is a tremendous threat now. It's a growing threat. Uh, that is something we have to stay ahead of, and we have the tools to do that, yes. But you say with the tools to do that, but we've just in the last month globally suffered two major um, cyber attacks. One was uh, ransomware, the other was masquerading as ransomware. Can we ever get ahead of the criminals? We, we can stay ahead of the criminals, but they're just behind us. And that's the way I look at it. And uh, at Oracle, we have these, these solutions that can help the agencies stay ahead of these, these criminals. And it's, uh, it's an ongoing battle. It will always be there. Uh, we just have to stay ahead of that race. If we get behind, we're in deep trouble, right, in, as a society. And so we, we try to uh, give these tools to the police agencies uh, and the investigative agencies worldwide. Mm. Um, what's the key message that, from an Oracle perspective, you want to give out to the Interpol world audience? But the key message is we all live in our communities. We all have families and we want to be safe and we want to provide a safe community uh, it and, and everybody at Oracle has that and you have it we all have it the police agencies are there to protect the community and we have the tools to 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 bring that protection to help enable that protection and the de detection of crimes and the prevention of crimes also so so it's 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 a it's a community effort through technology and and we, we we're so happy to be able to to bring that to the world Stephen, it's been a real pleasure talking to you for Interpol World Television. Yeah, it's been, been very good. Thank you very much. Thank you.